Hey everyone out there in Sneakerland. Today I have a special treat for you guys. But before we get to that, some of you may be wondering why I'm wearing this old school Charlotte Hornet shirt. Well, there's actually three reasons I'm wearing it. Number one, it's just a sick shirt. Point blank. Number two, I wanted to commemorate some of the old school 90s Charlotte Hornets teams. You know, like the ones with LJ, Larry Johnson, aka Grandma Ma. Who could forget that guy? And Zoe, Alonzo Mourning. And how about Muggsy Bogues? That dude was 5'3. Anyway, the third reason I'm wearing this shirt has to deal with a special surprise. Now, did you guys remember that Kobe Bryant was actually drafted by the Charlotte Hornets? in 1996 with the 13th pick? Well, he was. Did you really remember that? I can tell when you're lying. Now look me, look me straight in the eye. Okay. Anyway, he was drafted by the Hornets and traded to the Lakers for none other than Vladi Divac, aka Floppy McFlopperstein. You know, because of his many flops. I don't think that was actually his nickname. I just made that up. I don't think anyone's ever called him that before. Anyway, before Kobe uh, was drafted, right before he was drafted, he played in the McDonald's All-American game. And today we have the Hyperdunk Supreme by Nike, McDonald's All-American Edition. So let's take a look at this shoe, guys. Here it is. It's a sick looking shoe. It commemorates Kobe playing in the McDonald's All-American game. Um, so let's take a look at some of the features of it. You got the black patent leather, which pops. You got the 33 embroidered on the side. Nice. Do we have a black Mamba logo on the tongue? Check. And do we have All-American spelled out in French fries on the insole? Affirmative. Not sure if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can see what it looks like. On top of all those nice features, it's got these nice yellow laces. Also comes with a set of blue, in case you want to switch it up. And the bottom line is, it's a Hyperdunk, which is, in my opinion, the best basketball shoe ever made. I play basketball two or three times a week, and... Uh, the Hyperdunk is my favorite shoe of all time. I actually have been playing in the Hyperize for a couple months, and this morning I was like, you know what? Let me put my Hyperdunks on. It's been a little while. And it reminded me how awesome that shoe is. I like it so much better than the Hyperize. It just has great support. It's so lightweight. Um, it's got great traction. And it just, just feels great on my foot. So I highly recommend it for balling in. Um, you guys know it's a super lightweight shoe, um, it's got some kind of lunar foam uh, in, the, in the sole, which gives good support and cushioning, um, and it has the fly wire, it's one of the first shoes to feature the fly wire, and the fly wire is kind of like a suspension bridge, um, it holds the whole shoe together, but uses less material and therefore less weight than if uh, all the support were distributed throughout just the material. So the fly wire reduces the weight of the shoe, which means your feet are lighter and you can run faster and cut quicker. So I highly recommend the Hyperdunk. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the Hyperdunk Supreme McDonald's All-American Edition. If you guys have any questions, please just let us know. And most importantly, we want to see you get laced up. Thank you.